Hi guys, hope everybody is doing well. Um, this should be video number three of the items I picked up recently from my friend Roger. Uh, really pleased. So I've got some interesting items in this video. A um, couple of gems. So the first thing and the biggest thing, but a very cool thing, I found this double bar coach wrench, um, which is an iSorby, which is the Marples, so similar com companies of Marples. Looks like someone's had an angle grinder a bit on the top, which is a shame. Um, this needs a clean up and a de-rust, but a beautiful spanner nonetheless. We've got another double bar coach wrench. Um, can't make out the manufacturer, um, but it's got an extended um, jaw. So this is really cool. I've not seen anything quite like this before. So I thought I'd give this a home just because of the unusual length of it. This is a Palmer and Sons adjustable spanner, but this is a very early one. You can see here it's got tw it's got 12 facets rather than six and um, so it's really really an early version probably from the 1840s 1850s and these are quite rare i've not seen um, an early palmer like this before been badly angle grinded needs a clean and needs to be sorted out badly um, and i'm going to try and attempt to do that we've got the manchester spanner um, i do have a few manchester spanners this is the Manchester Spanner, um, which is the box end. And this is the other early Manchester Spanner. You can see here it's Manchester. And these are the same company what made these. And um, this is the most common one. It's a Tilson Manchester Spanner. And I got two other sizes. This is the larger size of the bigger one. And also the uh, sort of girder style type as well, made in England. Um, really really cool so i was quite pleased with those and um, that one this one says made in england but i just noticed this one says made it says usa which is mm, i'm not sure about that but anyway either way very very cool um, and they'll go in the same drawer i got another win timmin spanner which is a bicycle spanner with the heart win timmins with the heart and um, so i was really pleased with that super cool and um, that will go in my timmins drawer which i'll show you in a bit We've got the Bosch Sheffield number one trademark adjusting spanner. Really nice graphics on this one. Um, Bosch spanner. Probably, they can see the painting on it as well. This was probably from, I would say, the 90, 1910 or something around that mark, 1920. It's the first design of this shape. Um, let me see if I can just cut this piece of string off. Um, with any luck, um, there we go. Cut that off because it's uh, doing my head in. As this needs a de an oil and a degrease. Um, and what was really cool is I found the number two. Now it looks like it's had a weld on the jaw, which is a shame. But this is a very rare spanner. Very nice, nice handle to it as well. Works quite nicely. Um, so we've got both sizes of the spanner but this is a bit butchered but still very nice indeed was quite pleased with that and um, we've got some american um alex took most of the american but i did pinch a few this is a bernard w skullson skullhorn and son new haven connecticut um patent pending really nice 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 um pipe wrench this one then we've got this one here which is a quick adjust um, really, really cool. This one is a Victor patent number. I'm guessing this is American as well. Really, really cool. Um, and then we've got this one, uh, a Cochrane 10 inch patent 1908. Um, and this one's got a fantastic mechanism. Really, really cool. This is a lovely spanner. Um, so I was really pleased to pick this up. Not seeing that one neither, but it's a US, I'm guessing. So this probably might be common over there. I don't know. And um, we've got a, a Pexto Wilcox and Stone uh, four inch pets the Pexto um, adjustable spanner. Um, I did get a few others, but they've gone to my friend Leslie, so I'm not going to show those. We've got this small German one. I do have several sizes of this, and I'm pretty sure that's smaller than the sizes I've got. And a Pico Made in England adjustable spanner as well really cool so i got some quite interesting spanners um in this in this haul and um, my favorites has to be this very early palmer despite the condition 
I've not got one of those. That's a really nice thing. Um, the, the Timmins, the Large Boss and the Isobi, the British ones, are my favourites. But you have to put in the comments which are yours. All right, um, I'll show you my Timmins draw and then uh, we'll get back to the next video. I'll see you in the next one, which I think is tool hall number four. All right, I'll show you now. Right, guys, so this is my Timmins, um, Western Painton Timmins draw. Every single spanner in this is uh, Timmins. Um, and this is my latest edition, the Win Timmins Bicycle Spanner, which will go there. Um, this is probably one of the earliest ones, this um, Timmins, Win Timmins um, single bar coach wrench. Um, so yeah, so I was really pleased to, and there's the ones my buddy, uh, my buddy um, Graham made those handles for. So really pleased with that. So there's some interesting um, Timmins there. That's another one for the collection. So I was pleased with that. All right. Thanks for watching. If you got this far, don't forget to leave your comment. Bye.